Hello. In interventional radiology, there are two radiation dose quantities that are presented to operators because there are two types of risk to the patient. The first is the risk of a radiation burn, and that is related to the air coma at the interventional reference point. The second risk is the risk of uh, inducing cancer with the radiation. That is related to the Kerma area product. And I have four lectures. This is the first one that will try to introduce you to what this Kerma area product is. Uh, we've learned that if we have a radiation source, at a certain point we have an intensity. The intensity is measured as a milligray or a gray, and that is a concentration unit. So the air kerma is the number of x-rays per unit area, whereas, uh, so the air kerma, as I say, you can think of as the number of photons per unit area. And if you have an air kerma of five gray, as indicated here, that will give rise to a skin dose that will be something like 5 gray and will give you an estimate of the chance of getting a radiation burn. That's related to cell killing, which will be massive at doses that are close to 5 gray. Uh, the total number of photons in an X-ray beam is obtained by taking this concentration unit and move, multiplying it by the beam area. So the air kerma's K, the area's A, you multiply the two together and you get the kerma area product. So this is how we get it. That's the air kerma, that's the beam area, the kerma area product. It is very frequently called the dose area product and these two terms are essentially the same. So the kerma area product, let me give you an idea. The air kerma here might be one milligray. Uh, the x-ray beam area is given by 500 square centimeters. And so the kerma area product in a skull x-ray is about 0.5. If we take the AP projection, because it's thicker, the air kerma is double. Uh, the area might be the uh, same as you have in a lateral. And so the Kerma area product is something like a gray centimeter squared. That's what it is. That's how we got, get it. And in radiography, the numbers will be uh, similar uh, uh, to uh, a gray centimeter squared. I would say that is a representative number. If you go in radiography, most examination will either be a gray centimeter or so close to it. If we go to GIGU studies, then I would say your numbers are going to be like 10, 20, 30 gray centimeters squared. In other words, 10, 20, 30 times more than you use in radiography. And in interventional radiology, your numbers are going to be like 100, 200, 300 gray centimeters squared or 100 200 or 300 times more than you would use in diagnostic radiographic imaging and therefore the risk to the patients the cancer risk will be typically 100 200 300 times more than in radiography and maybe 10 times more than you have in gi and gu imaging now your shown numbers on the kerma area product uh, this is the number that you see. Here is a printout from one run, a photo spot imaging run. And you see that the units here are in microgray meter squared. Uh, I will uh, explain later on that this is about 35 uh, gray centimeter squared. That is a conversion factor that I will give you later on. That is for that run. If you look at the 25 minutes of fluoroscopy, we got another 20 gray centimeters squared when you convert microgray uh, meter squared uh, from the Siemens unit into the gray centimeter squared that I've tried to standardize on. And if you have the 11 runs and the total fluoroscopy time and you look at the bottom line 
uh, 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 Kerma area product. It's about 200 gray centimeter squared. Again, I've converted from micro gray meter squared to my favorite uh, unit, the gray centimeter squared. And as I told you, in IR, those are the kind of numbers you expect to get. Uh, as I say, it's a little bit of a nuisance to have different units on all your different units, uh, uh, systems. Siemens uses micro gray square meters. I honestly wish they wouldn't. But if you want to convert from that into gray centimeter squared, you simply divide your number by 100. So here where it says 539, it actually means 5.3 gray centimeter squared for this uh, digital acquisition that's indicated here, a 10 second run, a frame per second, and the technique factors that we use to generate it, and the additional copper filtration. Uh, so 100 uh, gray centimeter squared, the risk from this exposure is, the, or the number that you get is the cancer risk, because you take the Kerma area product and convert it into an effective dose. To get the effective doses, you have to have the organ doses. And if you have the organ doses, you can get the organ cancer risk. And whereas the five gray peak skin dose or interventional reference point air coma is about cell killing and the chance of a radiation burn, the uh, Kerma area product is the cancer risk and it's based on the chances of the radiation you deposit transforming, not killing a cell, but modifying the way that it functions. So if you have questions on this introductory talk that try to explain what Kerma area product is, drop me an email at walterhuda at hotmail.com. Uh, that is the email that I prefer. I monitor it on a regular basis.